Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are worthy, Father. You are worthy. Hallelujah. You are awesome in this place. You are altogether lovely. You are perfection. Be thy name, God. Holy is thy name, Father. You are worthy. You are more than enough. You are the most high God. You are the true and the living God. You are Emmanuel. And we give you praise. We give you thanks. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You are worthy, Father. You are more than enough. Holy, 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 holy. Lord of glory, who is, who was, and is to come. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name, Father. We just give you praise. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are awesome in this place. You are awesome in this place. You're awesome in this place. You're all together lovely. Oh, we bless you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 There is none like you. There is no God like Jehovah. You all together lovely. You are perfection. God, you are perfection. We thank you for your presence, Lord. We thank you, God, and we praise you, Father. We magnify you. We glorify you, God. We thank you, God, that this is the moment that you've made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it, O oh God. We shall rejoice and be glad in it, O oh Father. We thank you, Father, for this moment. We thank you, God, for your presence. We just give you praise, O oh Father God. You are wonderful. You're worthy. You're God that's more than enough, Father. You're awesome in this place. We give you praise. We give you thanksgiving. We bow before you, God. Oh, Father, we just thank and praise you for how you brought us through into 2019 oh god we thank you god and praise you father god and we just bless you for your faithfulness god we just bless you father god there's none like you we honor you for your faithfulness oh father we just honor you for your faithfulness praise god bless you my dear cousin praise god we just felt led of the Lord to get on here and have our prayer time. And uh, so here we are, and we're glad about your presence, praise God. And uh, we're going to be doing some praying tonight and uh, just kind of talking to the Lord and just see what he has up. So you can just join us. I was just giving God thanks for, thanks for just bringing us all safely into 2019, praise God. 
And Father, we thank you for that, God. We thank you for April, Father God, and we thank you for her family, God. And we thank you for our family, Lord God, and the families, Lord God, of the ones that may come later, God. We just thank you, Father God. We thank you for your family and your family and you and you and you and your family. And Father, we thank you for how you brought us through into 2019, God. You didn't have to do it, oh Father, but you did, and we thank you for it, oh God. We give you praise for it, oh Father. We magnify you because we recognize it was not our goodness, Lord God, that brought us through, Lord God, but it was your grace, oh Father, and your mercy, Father. We thank you for that, Lord God. If it had not been for you on our side, oh Father God, many of us would not be here tonight, oh God, but we thank you, God, for your mercy. We thank you for your grace, oh God. We thank you for your blessings, Lord God. How your blessings, Lord God, have continued to rain down upon us, oh Lord God. We thank you and praise you, Father God, for your presence in this place, God. We thank you for your plan, God, your specific plan for this night, your specific plan for this encounter, God. We thank you for that, Lord God. We praise you, oh Father. We bless you praise god love you too praise god i love you too praise god thank you jesus and we just thank and praise you father god for friends and family oh god and sometimes lord god we don't see each other often lord god but god when we do it's just like we saw each other on yesterday we thank you for that connection lord god how you keep us connected oh god how you keep us loving each other, Lord God, and how you keep us coming together, oh Father God, in different situations, Lord God. We're fine, oh Father God, that we will come together at those needed times, and we thank you for that, God. We praise you for that, oh Father. We magnify you for that, God. We exalt you for that, Lord God. We bless you for that, oh Father. We just thank you, God, and praise you, oh Father God, for your faithfulness, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, for drawing us, Lord. We thank you for drawing April, Father. We recognize, Lord God, had you not drew her here, Lord God, that, that she may not be on tonight, oh Father. But Lord, since you drew her, we know you have a purpose, God. We know you have a reason, God. We know you're doing something in her life, Father God. And we thank you, God, and we praise you for that, oh Father God. We thank you, God, and we welcome your Holy Spirit in, oh God. Because, Lord, we don't know what to do without your Holy Spirit, oh God. We can do nothing nothing without you, Father. And we thank you, God, and praise you, O oh Father God, for the breath of the Almighty has breathed upon us, O oh Father God. We thank and praise you, Father God, because you're in our midst and because you're breathing upon us, Lord God. We feel new life beginning to stir, God. We feel new life beginning to flow, God. We are being stirred by the Almighty, O oh Father God. In your presence, there's fullness of joy. And because you hear here, Lord God, we're being stirred by your presence, oh Father God. Lord, there's a, a breeze blowing because of your presence, oh Father God. We're being changed because of your presence, Lord God. You said wherever two or three are similar together in your name, you said there am I in the midst. So we thank you, God, for being in our midst. We thank and praise you, oh Father God. And Lord God, that greater is he that is within us than he that is in the world. We thank you that we are more than conquerors through Christ who loved us. We thank you, God, that we can do all things through Christ that strengthen of us. We thank you, God, for sending your word, oh, Father God, to heal us and deliver us from all destruction, Father. God, we thank you for healing and wholeness from the crown of our heads, oh, God, to the soles of our feet, oh, God. We thank you for your word, God. God, touching every part of us, oh Father God, bringing us alive, oh Father God. Lord, we thank you for renewing us. We thank you for revival. We thank you for restoration, Lord God. We thank you for blessing us to surrender, God. We thank you for blessing us to yield to you, God. We thank you for drawing us and wooing us to come closer to you, Father. We thank you and praise you, oh Father God, for filling us with your spirit, oh God. We thank you, God, because you're a wonder-working God. We thank you because because you are an amazing God. We thank you because you are awesome, oh Father God. We thank you because you are altogether beautiful. You are lovely. You are more than enough. You are powerful, Father. We thank you and praise you, Father God, for pouring out of your spirit upon us, oh Father. 
pouring out of your spirit upon us, bringing us to a place of rest, bringing us to a place of refreshing. We thank you for doing that, God. We bless and praise and magnify you, Father God. We glorify you, oh Father God. You're awesome in this place. We thank you for joy, so Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for your drawing, oh Father God, that you have something special for joy tonight, oh Father. We thank and praise you, Father God, for the impartations, Lord God, from heaven that will reach out and touch, Lord God, the viewers, oh Father. We thank you, God, and praise you, Father God, that, oh Lord God, that thy kingdom has come and thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. We thank you, God, and praise you because we know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you're up to something good tonight, oh God, that, that you're going to leave us stronger, Father God, that you're going to leave us with a fresh anointing, Father God. You're going to leave us with fresh impartations, Father God. We thank you and praise you, Father, that this is no ordinary time, God. This is a special time. This is a called out time, God. This is a peculiar time, God. This is a hand-picked time, God. This is a Kairos moment, oh Father. And we thank you, God, and praise you, Father. We bless you, Father. Father, you're awesome in this place, Lord. And even as we pray, God, we lift our hands to receive. God, our hands say that we believe, God, that you're going to bless us. We believe that you're going to leave us whole. We believe that you're going to impart some good gift to us. We believe, oh, Father God, and we receive, oh, Father God, all that you want to impart to us. We believe, oh, Father God, oh, Lord God, that you had a plan, oh, Father God, before the foundation of the world concerning this night and concerning our future and concerning where we go from here, Father. We bless and praise you, Father God, that you said the steps of a righteous man, righteous woman are ordered by the Lord and they delight us in their way, God. We thank and praise you, Father God, and we just prophesy that our joy is coming to another dimension, Father God. Our joy is coming to another dimension, Father. We thank and praise you for things that are impossible with me and they are possible with you Father. We thank you God because we recognize that the joy of the Lord is our strength. We recognize oh Father God that you want us to have strength God that you want us to be strong in you and the power of your might Father God and we declare to be so Father in Jesus name Lord God we declare God that we are arising Father God. We declare Lord God that there is an awakening Awakening, oh Father God. We declare, oh Father God, that He who is mighty that you're doing great things in our life, oh, Father God. And we thank you, Lord God, for our brother, Lord God, Prince Arnold, Father God, that's watching. Father, we thank and praise you for drawing him, oh, God. We recognize that before the foundation of the world, oh, Father God, you knew that he would be right in this spot, oh, Father. And, Lord, we thank you, God, that you are right where he is and right where his family is and right where all of our families and our loved ones are. And, Lord, even as we pray, even as we petition you, Father God, even as we're set under this open heaven, Father God. Lord, we release a blessing to our families, Lord God, our loved ones, Lord God. We cover them with the blood of Jesus, Father. We plead the blood of Jesus over all of our family, all of our loved ones, oh Father. Wherever they may be, God, we plead and cover them with the blood of Jesus, God. And we thank you, Father, and praise you, Father God, because you said that you would increase us more and more and our children, God. Well, so we thank you, Father God, that you are enlarged in our territory, God. You are remembering us, oh, Father God. Lord, we thank you that you are omnipresent. There's no place that you're not, oh, Father. We thank and praise you for your power, your glory, your majesty, God. We just thank and praise you, Father God, because you're awesome in this place, oh, Father. You're altogether lovely, God, you are perfection. You are beautiful. You are majestic. You're regal. You're august. You're max, oh Father. You are the beautiful rose of Sharon. You are that awesome lily of the valley. You are that day spring from on high, Father. And you are that fountain of living water. Because of your presence, Lord, we are being refreshed. 
because of your presence, Lord, we are being renewed. Because of your presence, Lord God, we are being revived. We are being restored, oh Father. Because of your presence, Lord God, you are shifting us to a new dimension because of your presence, Lord God. We bless and praise and honor you for your plan because you said, I know the plans that I have for you. I know the plans that I have for you. You, you, and you that you have a future, a hope, and expected in. And so, Father, we thank you, God, that our future has been planned by you, Father. And we thank you, God, for the process. We thank you for blessing us to walk it out, God. We thank you for ordering our footsteps, God. We thank you that 2019 will be like no other season that we've ever experienced because in 2019, God, you're opening new doors, oh, Father God. 2019, God, it's our day of favor, our day of the overflowing cup, oh, Father. In 2019, God, you're doing something fresh and new in our lives. Oh, Father God, in 2019, God, it's the day, the year that we start. We start that new thing. We start writing that book. We start that business. We start, Lord God, making plans for that trip. We start doing those things that you put on our hearts to do, God. And we thank you, God, and praise you, oh, Father God, that you are our help. You are our strength. We recognize our insufficiencies, Father. We recognize we can do nothing without you, God. But we thank you, Lord God, for the leadership of the Holy Ghost tonight. We thank and praise you, Father God, for taking us in, oh God. And we bow down to you, God. And we worship you, Father, because you're awesome, because you're glorious, because you are holy, oh Father. We bless you, Father. And we just thank you, God, for your touch. Thank you for your anointing, God. We thank you, Lord God, that it's your anointing, Father God, that destroys the yoke, oh Father. We thank you for that, oh God. And we praise you, Father God. We bless you, Father. And we honor you, Lord God, for our brother, Lord God, that just tuned in, God. We just thank you, Father, and praise you for him, oh God, and for blessing his family, God, for remembering him, oh Father God. And Lord, we just decree and declare, oh Father God, that this is the first day of the rest of our blessed lives, oh Father God, that you're doing something fresh and new, oh God. And Lord, we thank you for that. We thank you for pouring out of your spirit, oh God, destroying yokes, oh God, destroying heaviness, Lord God. We thank you for coming after that little nagging worry, God. That thing, Lord God, we were trying to fix, but we couldn't fix it, God. We thank you for coming after that little worry right there in the corner of our hearts, oh God. We thank you that you love us so much, oh God, that you've given us your peace, that pass of all understanding, oh God, that you said, let not our hearts be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Oh God, we thank you for the love that you have for us, that you want us to live in peace, that you want us, oh Father God, to have the comfort of the Holy Ghost with us, oh Father. So we thank you, God. We thank you that right now, God, we can cast all of our cares upon you because you care for us, Lord. And God, even as we pray, we ask you to forgive us for those things that we carried around and we, Lord God, allowed to weigh us down. Those things, Lord God, that we might have even bought over into 2019, God. We thank you and praise you, Father God, for forgiving us, Lord God, for every offense, God, that we've offended you in, Father, that we've offended man in, God. We ask you to forgive us, Lord God. We ask you to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, oh Father God. And we thank you, God, for the power that's in the blood of the Lamb, oh God. That, Lord God, your blood still has the power to cleanse, oh Lord God. And we thank you for that, oh God. Now, Lord, we thank and praise you, oh Father God, for breathing upon us, Lord. We just thank you for the fresh wind. We just thank and praise you for the refreshing we just thank and praise you for all that you're doing in our midst, oh God. We thank you for that, Lord. And we thank you, God, for what you whispered in my ear that you desired to do, Lord God, just before we got on, Father. And we thank you for that. And we praise you, Father God. Now, Lord God, we just pray that you direct us. And, and Lord, we pray that you remember those that will come afterwards for this video, Lord God. That, Lord God, you would lay your hand upon them that you would breathe upon them also, God. 
that you would impart special gifts upon them, Lord. And we want to read while we're here just for a moment. Praise God. We want to read 2 Chronicles 7 and 1. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And this was when Solomon had dedicated the temple, dedicated the house of the Lord. And this is what happened after he dedicated the temple. And I get a sense, even while we're on tonight, that God desires for us to rededicate our lives back to him we dedicate ourselves to him as a house of prayer, as a house of prayer, meaning that we're going to leave here in a place where we're communing with Almighty God on a new plane, in a new dimension, in a new way, that we're doing like with God, every day like with God, that we're going to talk with God when we go into our room and going to another room, we're going to be found talking with God, uplifting up that neighbor, praying for that loved one. That's what he wants. He wants us to catch fire again, praise God. Second Chronicles 7 and verse 1 says, Now when Solomon had made an end of praying, the fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offerings and the sacrifices and the glory of the Lord filled the house. And in the sixth chapter, we know that Solomon had been praying and he was rededicating the house of the Lord. And he was telling God all these different scenarios. If Israel uh, sinned in this way, if they did that, uh, and if they came back and turned back to the Lord, uh, he was asking God to forgive them and hear their petition and answer their prayers and all the different scenarios. If a stranger came to the house of the Lord and you don't know the Lord, uh, asking God to answer their prayers and he prayed and they sacrificed unto God. And you know, tonight somebody is sacrificing because you could be somewhere looking at TV, but you decide to put something on the altar and that's your presence. That's your presence, praise God. And God's going to bless you for it and bless your family for it, praise God. So Solomon rededicated the temple uh, to the Lord. But before I got on, God gave me a word, and he wanted people tonight to have a freedom, whosoever will, to rededicate yourself as a house of prayer. As a house of prayer, you are that house of prayer. I am that house of prayer. And remember, even on the day of Pentecost, when they prayed in the upper room, praise God, and they prayed till they were on one accord, they prayed until the Holy Spirit, the fire of God, fell from heaven, praise God. And it's time to get fire back down on our altars. Uh, the church is a bit too quiet in some places, praise God. It's time to get fire back on the altar, praise God. And may the fire on our altar never run out. But God is looking for those tonight that want to rededicate themselves to prayer, to rededicate and dedicate themselves as a house of prayer. It could be that you never dedicated yourself as a house of prayer. You might say, well, I don't really know how to pray. Oh, it's just a hard thing. It's just you talking to God, you honoring God. And it's not even a thing where, well, somebody might say, I don't feel like he's listening to me. He never told us to pray like that. We do it in faith, believing that he is. And so I am going to take this anointing oil. And for you, you and you, I'm going to anoint myself as that house of prayer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. And Father, in behalf of those that desire, Lord God, to dedicate themselves to you in this season as a house of prayer, God, we just anoint ourselves. And Lord God, we anoint them by faith, oh Father, each person that desires to. We anoint, oh Father. 
And Father, we thank you for giving us the grace to be that house of prayer, Father. We thank you, God, for let us be singleness, single in our body, soul, and spirit, oh God. That our spirit will be king, oh God, and that we will be found, God, walking as a house of prayer talking as a house of prayer, that we will be known as a house of prayer, that the fire on our altar, Father God, will be lit again, oh God. Lord, we thank you for lighting our fire tonight. We thank you, God, and praise you, Father God, for lighting our fire tonight, God. God, we thank you for restoring fire back on our altar, Father. Even as Solomon prayed, oh, Father, we thank and praise you, Father God, that your spirit fell, Father. The fire of God came down. The glory of God came down. And we prophesy, we declare and decree that for those who have received, those who have rededicated themselves to you as a house of prayer, oh, Lord God, that a fresh anointing to pray is coming upon them right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, and we thank you for blessing them to receive it, oh God. And Lord, we thank you for the fresh wind of your spirit, God. We thank you for blessing them, them to be carriers of your glory, God. For we recognize, oh Father God, as a, after Solomon prayed, Lord God, that, that the glory of God failed, oh Father. Prayer will cause the glory of God to come into a place. And that's what your prayer life is going to do. Because you are going after God in this season as never before. And it's a heart thing. It's just a true thing. It's just sharing your heart with God. It's not praying like anybody else. Because you're that unique individual. And it's about your own relationship with the Lord. But God wants to bring some glory on our lives in a greater dimension. God wants to bring the fire of the Holy Ghost down that we can pray and that we can pray such prayers that cancer will burn up out of somebody's body, that we can pray such prayers that sickness and disease and tumors and growths and whatever that should not be on a person's body, that God can burn it out by the power of God. That he can burn out other things out of our lives that do not belong, praise God. Just a touch from Jesus. So, so, Father, we thank you tonight. And we praise you, Father. Thank you, God. And because... You have received, and because you have believed and received, know that my grace is sufficient. Know that my hand is upon you. Know that my anointing is upon you. And know that I will lead you, I will guide you, I will stir you. I will refire you and give you that auction to pray and know even now I'm doing a stirring on the inside. I'm stirring you up and I'm stroking the flames and I am charging you to go forth and be that house of prayer. Many of you will be in different places and different situations and I will prompt you as you listen to this. If you hear about that, I will prompt you to pray for others. I will give you that unction to lift up a prayer in behalf of others, in behalf of uh, this nation, in behalf of your neighbor, in behalf of your city, in behalf of the state, uh, even through and over international waters. I will anoint you and give you that unction uh, that you would pray, that you would be the house of prayer, that you would commune with me as you walk along the way, as you drive your cars, uh, as you go to sleep at night, as you're in your home, uh, in gatherings, uh, that you will be found releasing a prayer. 
You don't have to make a sound sometimes, but I will hear the prayer that will come from your heart and know that I will be attentive to the prayer that's played prayed in this place and I will answer as you set your heart to walk before me and walk upright before me for if you be willing and if you be obedient ye shall eat the fat of the land it is my desire to bless you in this hour it is my desire to shift you and take you where you've never been and do with you what's never been done it's my desire that my promises that you have held fast to that that they manifest in your lives. So I say, children, come. And I say, walk with me. And I say, pray. And I say, study my word. And get a sense of my presence. And practice my presence. That I will be with you as you go out into the highways and byways. That you can bring the presence, my presence, into the homes of others. That even as you walk down the city streets, you can become those people of prayer. Did I not anoint Peter to pray? Did I not anoint Peter with my shadow that even when he walked past people, things happen? Yes, children, I just don't want Peter to be the one talked about, but I want to anoint you that when you pass someone, your very shadow because of me and my presence on your life, people will be healed. People will be set free. People will experience me in a different way. For my kingdom has come and my will shall be done in earth as it is in heaven. There is no sickness in heaven. There's no depression in heaven. There's no poverty in heaven. I want you to be healers. Lay hands on the sick in my name and allow the sick to rise up. Children, I want you to expect miracles expect the signs. So you say you're not worthy, but my son died. He laid his life down. He shed his blood that you may rise. And I'm calling you to rise up in this hour for I want to fill your cup. I want you to overflow with my goodness, overflow with my peace, overflow with my joy, overflow with faith, overflow with my fruits of the Spirit. I want you to overflow with the signs, the wonders, and the miracles. Yes, it is possible. All things are possible to them that believe. Yes, I can do it suddenly. I'm doing it in the Spirit now. I'm doing it right now. I want you children to walk yes. Yield it unto me and yield it unto my plan. For I say I shall be attentive. I shall be listening to the prayer that's uttered in this place. So, Father, we thank you for listening, God. And we ask you, Lord God, to bless your people, God. We pray, God, you'll bring them out of their comfort zone. God, we pray that you stir them and give them dreams and give them visions. Give them new hope, oh God. We pray, God, for boldness. For you said the righteous, Father, bold as a lion. We pray, God, that you touch them. Touch them in their sleep tonight, God. Bless their sleep tonight. Even as they sleep, oh God, lay your hand upon them, God. Let them rest in your peace tonight, God. Rejuvenate their bodies, Lord God. We pray, God, if any are sick, Lord God, that you would just lay your hands upon them, God. That they would be healed. Burn out that sickness in Jesus' name. Burn it out in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we declare wholeness. We declare healing in Jesus' name. We declare new strength. We declare fresh, fresh, fresh anointings. We declare the overflowing oil of the Holy Ghost upon your life. That there's all in your lamps, uh, that there's all in your lamps, uh, and you're going to keep all in your lamp because you're going to be known as people who pray, praise God, people who get in the word of the Lord, uh, people who commune with God, uh, people who meditate on the word of God. Uh, oh, Father, we thank and praise you, Father God. We ask your Lord God to bless their businesses, God, uh, bless their careers, oh, Father God, bless their jobs, oh, Father God, bringing those co divine connections for this season of their life, oh Father God, that can help shift things, oh Father God, that can cause the baby to leap, the vision to leap.
delete the dream delete oh God somebody that who will not rain on their parade oh God but somebody who will celebrate them oh Father God oh God and we just pray that they be healed God from any rejection Father God in Jesus name that they be healed oh Father God from anything oh Father God let us try to touch down on their lives, oh Father God. Lord, we pray that you awaken them to a new place, oh God. Take them where they've never been, God. Show them parts of you, Father, that they never seen before. They never dreamed, oh God. And Lord God, remind them, oh Father, it's because they dedicated themselves tonight to you as a house of prayer. Oh Father God, we thank and praise you, oh Father God. And we bless you, oh Father God. We honor you, oh Father God. We thank you for Erica, Father. Lord God, we pray that you bless her to go back and see the part where we did the prayer of dedication, oh Father God. Dedicating ourselves to the Lord as a house of prayer. Oh Father, we just pray that you anoint her, Lord God, that she receive every blessing, Lord God. And we just thank you, Father, and we just praise you, Father. We magnify you. We glorify you. We exalt you, Father God. Oh God, we pray for your wisdom, Father. You said, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God that give it to all men liberally and upbraid them not, and it shall be given to them. So, Father God, we pray for wisdom in every situation as we go through 2019, God. Wisdom day by day. How do we accomplish our goals? Lord God, wisdom, how to accomplish that vision, how to walk it out, oh Father God. How to conquer new territory, God. How to be finishers, Lord God, how to write that book and finish that book, how to do the things, Lord, that you put in our hearts to do, God. We don't want our time to drip the way, God, and we find 2020 knocking on our door, and we've not done things that we should have done, oh God. We're not in the place, in the position, Lord God, that we should be in, God. Lord God, we don't want that kind of stuff to go on, oh God. So we pray, oh Father God, for strategy, God. We pray that you give the wisdom in the breath tonight, oh Father God, that Lord God, we can be enforcers, uh, that we can go forth and enforce uh, those things that we need to do day by day, oh Father God, and Lord, that it would not be laborious, it would not be wearisome, it not, would not be tiresome, God, but we would do it in joy, we would do it in joy because we're uh, completing an assignment, oh God. Oh, Lord God, if it's that book that we need to read, let us read a chapter a day, God. Let us read new and other materials, Lord God. Not be confined to just reading one thing, but let us learn. Oh, God, so that, Lord God, you can use us, uh, oh, Lord God, wherever you desire, oh, Father God. Let us come up higher, Lord God, in our devotional time with you, Lord God. Let us take a pause for the calls, Lord, and enjoy it, oh, Father God. Let us, Lord God, do the Psalms 4610 thing. Be still and know that you're God, meaning that on some days, because we are a house of fire, because we are a house of prayer and, and fire is on our altar, we're going to going to sit in the presence of the Lord. We're going to be rejuvenated. We're going to be revived. We're going to be restored, renewed, that God will continue to ignite us, to ignite us. It's the year uh, that we are ignited for the glory of God. We are ignited for the glory of God. Our prayers uh, are going to a new pitch. There's a new sound that's going to come forth out of us. God is going to release us uh, to a new dimension. So, Father, we thank you, God, for the these souls, Lord God, these precious people, God, that have got on tonight, that are hungry for you, Father. Oh, God, you say your sheep hear your voice, a stranger's voice, they will not follow. Oh, Lord God, anything not from you, let it fall to the ground, oh, Father God. But all that you've spoken, God, all that you said, all that is of you, let them receive it, oh, Father, that their lives can be changed forevermore, God. For we recognize one touch from you, God can change us for a lifetime, oh Father. So we bless you, Father. We honor you, Lord God, and we thank you and we declare an open heaven over our lives, oh God. We declare that the rain of the Almighty is falling upon our land. And Father, we thank you for blessing your people to travel light, not take on any extra burdens, but to give everything to you, to let go, 
and let God. Let that person go. Let that problem go. Let that hurt go. Let that heartache go. Let that worry go. Let that fear go. Let's just put it in the hand of the Lord. And when we put it in the hand of the Lord, we don't have to carry it. He said, cast your cares. So we can cast it on the Lord. Then there's some precious people that we want to put in the hand of the Lord. There are other offerings and sacrifices that we want to put in the hand of the Lord. And remember the two fish and five loaves when it was put in the hand of the Lord. Out of your hands and in God's hands. Put that problem, that situation, that thing. And then Jesus gave thanks to the Father. Supernaturally, there was an increase. There was an answer. Ministry came up. Multitudes of people were fed. Increase came on the scene. Because what you carry and praise God. And tonight, God, by faith, let's do this together. God, we take all that you've given us. And we place it in your hands. Okay, just my hand's going to be Jesus' hands. Put it over. Put it in it. Release it. Somebody release a heart up. Or release it. Just release it. Just release it. Father, we just put every care, God, all our precious cargo, Lord, we place it in your hands, God. And we thank you, God, for the increase. We thank you, Father God, for blessing us, Lord God, to be a blessing. Blessing what we carry to be a blessing. We thank you for that, Lord God. And so we bless you, Father God, for your precious people, God. We just bless you because you're God that's more than enough. And while we're on, if you have a prayer petition for someone that you want us to pray for, just feel free to write it on the script, praise God. And Lord, we just thank and praise you, Father God, and we just bless you, Lord God, for all oh Lord God, for the children, Lord God. We just pray, God, for the children all over this nation, Father. And God, we do so because we recognize there's no place that you're not. We do so, God, because someone may be in a crisis situation right about now, God. We do so, Father, because we recognize things that are impossible with me and they're possible with you. We do so, God, because you are the almighty God. And Lord God, you can do anything. Uh, you are very present help in the time of trouble. So we pray you rest down on the children tonight. And Lord, we thank you for your houses of prayer that are online with me, that are praying, that are touching and agreeing. Lord God, we ask you to touch down in the hospitals, oh God, where the children are dealing with sickness, God, and the adults are dealing with sickness, Father. We ask you to touch down, let a wave of your spirit pass on by, God. Lord God, we ask you to touch down, touch down, touch down in nursing homes. Let a wave of your spirit pass on by, God. Lord, we thank you and praise you for your goodness and for your mercy, Lord God. And we pray, oh, Father God, that you remember, Lord God, that even our neighbors, oh God, are on our streets, in the various streets where the different ones live, God, we ask you to touch down on their properties, touch down in their families, Lord God. You know what they have need of before we ask, God, but we pray for them, Lord God. We pray for longevity, Father God. We pray for healing, Lord God. We pray if they don't know you, God, that you would draw them, Father God. We pray for our youth, oh, Father God, that you bless our youth and our men of color, oh, Father God, that, oh, God, to arise to a new place, Lord God, that you would touch the hearts of our men of color, Lord God, and you will bless them to know that they have a purpose and they have a destiny, Lord God. We ask you to touch down, oh, Lord God, in the prisons, oh, Father God. Lord, touch down tonight. Pass by somebody's son somebody's daughter, somebody's husband, and give them peace that 
that passeth all understanding. Father, we thank you, God. And for that person, that soul tonight, God, that feels like giving up, that feels like, Lord God, there is no hope. We ask you, God, that you would touch down on their lives tonight. Praise God. And Lord, we thank you for Joyce. We lift up her children, oh Father God. She's a bold woman of God that believes in the power of prayer. So come on, you houses of prayer. Let's touch and agree. Joyce has wrote pray for her children. Uh, Lord God, we pray, oh Father God, a hedge of protection around those children, God. We pray, oh Father God, in Jesus' name, Lord God, that the fire of the Holy Ghost would surround them, oh Father God. Lord, that you would hedge them in on every side, Lord God, when they go to school and when they go to daycare, when they're out and about, oh God. We ask, Lord, that you protect them from danger, seen and unseen, Lord God. Uh, oh Lord God, even in the house of the Lord, we pray your protection be around them, Lord God, from danger seen and unseen, oh Father God. Lord God, that you will keep your hand upon them, Lord God, that you will stir them, that you will bless joy, so oh Lord God, to bring them up in the fear and admonition of the Lord. And God, you know what you call each one to do, God. We pray that you give this mom a discerning eye, Lord God, as she see them drawing toward different things, Lord God, that she can school them, Lord God, that she can steer them, oh Father God, that she can feed that power passion that she can feed that desire for her children, oh Father God, that they will grow up strong warriors, Father, that they will grow up, oh Father God, oh Lord God, and they will minister, oh Lord God, even as children, they will minister to other children, Father, we pray you fill them full of the Holy Ghost, oh Father. Now, Lord God, we ask you to breathe on those children, Lord God, and right now, Lord God, we thank you for passing by. Joseph's children around those children God thank you Jesus do something special with their lives God raise them up fire them up God with the Holy Ghost God Lord, let the spirit of prayer come upon these girls, Lord. These children, Lord, at a young age, oh Father. Lord, we pray that their joy will be full. We pray, oh Father God, Lord God, that the gifts and talents and abilities that you place within them, Lord God, will begin to stir and Lord God will begin to manifest even now, God. And that that mom will have a keen eyesight to invest where she sees your hand at on that child, Father. And Lord, we thank you for that, God. We declare these children will be like no other. These children, oh Father God, will be like no other. These children are blessed and highly favored. That the hand of God would be upon them so that people are going to look at these children and say that these are unusual children. And they will be known as children of faith, oh Father. We thank you for that. Bold children, Lord God, that are not afraid to lift up the name of Jesus, oh Father God. And not ashamed of the God that we serve. Lord, we thank you, Father. We praise you, Father God. We bless you, Father. We honor you, Father God. And we thank you for this mom. We thank you for Joyce, oh God, and the woman of God that she is, oh Father God. Keep her strong, God. Keep her strong, God. Keep her strong, God. And we thank you, God. And Lord, we just thank you for each one that was on with us tonight, oh Father God. We just pray for each one, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And we just bless you, praise God. We bless you. Praise God. Patrice, I didn't even see you there. Praise God. But Lord, we thank you for Patricia, Father God. And Lord, we pray, oh Father God, us covering over her home, God. Over her family, God. Her children, Lord God. Lord, in fact, we ask you to wrap yourself around all of our children. We pray a hedge of protection around them, Father, wherever they may be. And Lord, put a mark on them, God, that identifies them, Lord God. 
that they belong to you, God, and their lives are set for something precious. And Lord, we just thank and praise you, Father God, for Patrice, Lord God. We just thank you and praise you, Father God, and pray you bless her to go back, Lord God, and check out the video. And Lord God, receive the prayer where we rededicated ourselves tonight as a house of prayer. You are that house of prayer. And someplace on there before you leave, if you decide to rededicate yourself, just write it down and say, I am now officially a house of prayer. Oh, God, we thank you, God. We praise you, Father God, for this night, God. Let's lift our hands to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. You are worthy, God. You are worthy, God. Praise God. Father, we thank you that Joyce Wilson is reporting in. She says, I am now officially a house of prayer. We seal it in Jesus' name. We declare to be so in the name of Jesus. That woman of God, you will pray like no other. That you'll be known as a woman of faith. You'll be known as the one to come to when somebody needs an answer from God. Like no other father. Let her walk in her brand, God. Brand her like no other father. As a house of prayer. May she be known all over the land, God, as a house of prayer. When people come into her presence, may they see, God, that she is one that's been with Jesus. Mark her, Father, as a house of prayer. And those that have dedicated their lives, Lord God, and Lord God, we proclaim and say officially tonight that we are officially a house of prayer. And we thank you for sealing us up, God. We thank you, God, for the blessings, Lord God, that are coming upon these houses of prayer. And we thank you for what you did, God, that you whispered it to me, God, to pray and dedicate houses of prayer tonight. And we thank you, God, and we praise you, Father. We bless you, Father. And we honor you, Father God. We thank you, God, and we praise you, Father. Now, Lord, as we go forward from this place, let prayer become a melody. Let it become music. And Lord, teach us how to pray. Update us. Fresh downloads. And yes, I will update you. And yes, I will give you fresh downloads. Watch for me daily. Yes, my hand is upon you. I say go forward. I charge you to pray. And even as you pray, expect the great. Expect answers. Expect the increase. Expect to operate in signs and wonders and miracles. Expect people to be healed. Expect blind eyes to open. Expect the dead to be raised. Expect people to rise up in society from a place of poverty. Be a healer in every dimension. Deliver people from rejection, from discouragement, from oppression. Allow your prayers to go forward and allow your prayers to be released in behalf of even your enemies. Pray for those that despitefully use you. I charge you to go forward, for you are a house of prayer. God has set his seal. God has put his hands upon you. And as a prophetess of God, we decree and declare that you are a house of prayer. And God is a and he is there. And he'll never leave your cupboards bare. 
Father, we thank you and praise you for the divine supernatural increase for your houses of prayer. And may you continually be filled with the fresh oil of the Holy Ghost. May you be found meditating in the word of the Lord. May your prayers will be powerful. Thank you, God. We thank you, Father. And let's just lift our hands and thank God. We thank you, Father. God, we thank you for this night. Thank you for your blessings, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Receive my rain. I want to rain on you. And when you rise in the morning, something brand new I've chosen you you are among the precious few beloved you are not forgotten. You have not been weary in well-doing. You could have fainted, but you stood. Know for you, a payday is due. And know even now that I'm stirring and prompting the hearts of men, and I'm moving things into position, and I'm going to visit you, and I'm going to pour out upon you. And I'm going to bless you in ways that you have not considered. For you would stagger at some of the plans that I have for you. But no, it is sure. My word, you can depend. Thank you, Father. And God, we just bless your people tonight. We bless your people tonight, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So, Father, we just bless, Lord God. You're wonderful people, God. That so encourage our heart, oh Lord God. And stay the course with you, God. But Lord, remember, you said, I will bless those that bless you. So, God, we ask you for a special blessing. For each one, oh Father God, that viewed, oh God. And yes, my dear, God has raised up some houses of prayer 
I look forward to seeing you out there. God bless you all. Have a great, great, great night. God bless. I'm out of here.